Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps we're going to see it in the quarterfinal. The lone goofy footer, Italo, left in the event. One else in the draw. Yeah, absolutely. As we have Philippe up and riding. We'll see what Toledo can put on the board here. Got that priority in the early stages. Just pushing on the tail of this board. That waves. And then you think of Italo. Well, he's just been a showman over the last few months. And uh, places like Pipeline, etc. as we see him up and riding now. So nothing gained uh, by Toledo on that last ride after Italo fell on the opening exchange. And he's going to go down again here. So... Uh, really, I, I don't really think there's too much of an opportunity or an advantage with, with Griff having uh, not served his quarterfinal. Well, it's a low up now. Just a couple of throwaways to kick this quarterfinal heat off. And he'll look to clean that up now. Just flowing his way through to the inside. No major turns done yet, and it's going to be another fall. So he's... Set of the morning coming through now, it looks like... Felipe's going to head head. Yeah, Felipe having a dig at this one. Drops to the bottom. Gets up high so he can make the most of that first section. As it flattened out, he did well to let go of a, a solid turn. Now carving back to the pocket. And gets up into the lip early here. Digging in hard, really putting some torque into these manoeuvres. And flows beautifully through to the inside. And he'll make his way across that rock shelf. See some numbers drop down. As we watch the replay of Philippe, look at this thing standing up. Slashing turn to uh, get things underway on this ride. A big carving goes right out on the face, carving cutback, and then gets another lot. nice slash on the inside as we hit this foamy part, gets to the finish. Final manoeuvre, we talk about the ride coming to an end, but just getting across the rock shelf is another manoeuvre in itself. As we see Italo now trying to find a response. On that new board, drives up into the section, big backhand float. Huge floating re-entry to finish this wave off. He's going to hang on for the finish. Wow, that was incredible. You watch the difference in the finish of Italo's wave, uh, as we see here. So grinding off the top there, straight back up into the pocket. And look how much bigger the end section is. Almost lost it as he was leaning in off his heels, but was able to regain and get up on the little lip. And uh, gets that finish there. Amazing stuff. Yeah, well, this is a, a perfect demonstration of how you can really push a, a number up with a solid finish. And Italo was kind of gifted with that opportunity at the end of this ride. Felipe didn't get that same chance to attack a big end section. His ride tapered off, but the ball change, Rich, it was to go to a smaller fin. And it worked well for him. Well, you can see... Italo there just hitting that little speed bump before he got up. He did so well to keep, keep control. And he was able to ride out of that one. Essentially, this could have been Philippe, so let's see how this one pans out. Drops to the bottom up into this first section. Getting a bit of release on the tail on that first move. Italo finishing off another wave here at main break in style. Clean surfing, it'll be a nice backup and put the pressure on Toledo. The difference between Italo's waves that he's picking is that they're having this taller end section, a bigger dynamic finish. Look at how uh, critical that was there. Almost doing that figure eight motion on his backhand. Slow it right down here. As we see Italo about to lean on the heelside rail here, driving off that rail, off the fins, back up into the lip. And just a very clean slicing turn there. Gets the little fin release back into the control position now. And then watch this, extends out on the face as it flattens out a little bit. And watch how he just turns almost off the foam there. So drives straight back on here. Gets a little turbulence, now the fins are re-engaged. And then bang, almost gets to 12 o'clock. Up and over the roof, really critical, weightless. Keeps control. He does it so well. Different approach when uh, it's more calculated. You sort of revert back to your default performance and you stick to what you know. What these guys know is 100%. Yeah, we're, we're starting to see them ramp it up now. Italo pushing hard on that first turn, getting the release in the tail. Not easy to do in this strong offshore breeze. And again, solid on the finish. So really starting to convert after falling on his first three rides. Quick board change for Ferreira, and he is back in front and looking solid here.
Nine and a half minutes to go as Toledo looks to fight back against Italo. Beautiful carve to kick this right off. Taking it right back to the bottom of the bowl. Falling out of the lip on a big float and now lining up the finish as this wave steps out. Toledo holds on to the finish. That's going to be his best ride yet. Likes the feel of it and starts to celebrate, but he's going to have work to do. Italo already has an excellent score and a 5.73 of his own, so Toledo playing catch-up. You can see it gets a little mini airdrop here. This first turn is so beautiful. See how extended it? It was like a double ruckle turn within the one. The one gouge gets the floater, lip gliding, troughs out again on him, gets a little airdrop for the second time. And then a, a tricky end section too, and he's able to get the, the float there. So a bigger finish on that ride. That's what he needed. Great comeback wave for Philippe here. Yeah, good reason to celebrate too. Most adjusted and dug in at one point and ripped through a, a couple of chops on the face on that wave. He goes into low. Let's see if he can find an answer. He's after a 5.9 here to get the lead back. Lines up the inside section. And he, he almost had it. But you can get ankle tapped out there pretty quickly. Right of uh, Italo's here, Rich. Love the way he just hung on that first bottom turn for yeah. a really long time. Great turn to start things off. The second one was a little flatter. And if he, well, just didn't quite get to the finish on that one. Super fit. You've got to be if you're going to ride that many waves on finals day and make it to the, uh, the podium. But Toledo, he's out there. He, he didn't even look at this wave. And Italo's seen it as an opportunity to potentially get back in front he's after a 5.9 out of this ride he might need more on the end section here drives towards this final section gets the hit in celebration mode richie love it well not well well at the moment. <laughs> i'm not overly convinced a 5.9 doesn't seem like a big number always for toledo the best of them are six and a 7.9 10 ways for italo wasn't able to turn it on his final ride did have the highest number of that heat, but potentially uh, just pulled the, the trigger a, a little early uh, just here on this final ride.